yeah the next thing we'll do is take a look at my latest plugin which is the uh, which is the BYOB thesis shortcode content widgets plugin which you can download from here the content widgets plugin is my first published plugin that that behaves like well that can be updated automatically similar to all the rest of your WordPress plugins up until this point you always had to download a new copy of it and then upload it to your site or whatever from now on I'm in the process of transitioning all the plugins over to the system and from now on when there's an update to the plugin you'll see it in your plugin dashboard just like every other plugin you work with and you can just press the update automatically and it will go through the update process and you won't have to do anything special in order to make that work and the first plugin that's on the list here that's actually configured that way is this shortcode content widgets plugin now what this plugin does is it allows you to create widgets that you can insert into your content like for example this content using a short code and so right now what we have is we have this uh, widget column here right our, our sidebar which is what WordPress calls widget areas the sidebar is sort of an archaic uh, you know if you can speak of anything about WordPress being archaic sidebar is a term for for what you may think of as a widget area sidebar used to mean you know a bar on the side of the rest of your site however sidebars now are used all over the place and you've seen me demonstrate how to use the thesis header widgets plugin and the thesis footer widgets plugin for creating additional sidebars or widget areas. Well this will allow you to create sidebars and or widget areas inside of the content area simply by adding a short code. So we're going to start that off by installing this. So if we go to plugins, I don't think it's installed. No, it's not installed. So we're going to say add new and upload. Choose a file. And in my case, I'm going to upload it from where I've been working on it. Activate the plugin. Okay, and then we come down here, and here is a short code content widgets plugin. You know, I forgot to turn this part of it off, so just go ahead and in my excitement to get this ready. <laughs> For the time being, if you if you download version 1.0, just er ignore this. I have this stuff showing up in order for me to be able to test what data was being saved and what data was being retrieved. And it, it does look like an error message, but in fact all it's doing is showing, it's just showing content that has been saved in the, that has been saved in the database. So, and in a few minutes, I mean when we're done with this today, I'm going to upload a version 1.1 that won't do that anymore. Plus it won't do anything else that I've just, that we may find as I demonstrate this. So anyway, you start off with content widget block settings. And that's how this whole thing starts, is you define a block of widgets. Now a block of widgets can be one widget, or it can be up to five widgets. And you can have, you can define up to ten blocks of widgets. Each block of widgets has its own short code. So for example, right now, it automatically creates widget block one. And this is a little image of the layout of widget block one. And this is the short code for widget block one. So widget block one has one widget area, right? So widget block one, widget column one. It has one widget column or one widget area. And if you copy this short code, which is the part in the blue, and paste it into the middle of, of the content of uh, any post or page, it will place this, this widget area into that. Now, I think for the time being, we're going to create two widget blocks. Hit save. 
Now our first widget block is actually going to have three widget areas or widget columns. So we come over here and it says how many columns of widgets and you can have up to five so you can have as many as one widget column up to five widget columns. We're going to select three and hit save and now you can see it's showing you've got three widget columns now that you can drag widgets into and if we go over and look at appearance and widgets you'll see that there are three new sidebars and these three new sidebars are widget block one, widget column one, widget block one, widget column two, widget block one, widget column three and then of course for our second widget block it only has one column and so we've created these new sidebars by adjusting the or by installing that plugin. Now this should look familiar to you because this is the same thing that we did last week with footer widgets. We've got footer rows 1, 2, and 3 and then we specify how many footer widget columns there are in each row. Well that's the same thing here. We specify you know how many widget columns are in each block of widgets. And if we come back over here you don't actually have to do anything else. If you have specified that you want three widget areas in uh, block one, all we really have to do is take this, copy it, let's see, let's just edit this page and let's put it in the middle of this page. In fact, let's just put it right here. There's our short code content widget block one. If we hit update and view the page, here are three widget areas that are now inserted into the middle of this page. Now obviously the widget areas themselves aren't that great until you add widgets to it. Actually you know for the purpose of this we're going to take it down to two. I think three is a little narrow for this so so what we do is we'll come back over to this widgets and instead of three widget columns we'll take it down to two widget columns and now you can see it's showing only two widget columns in the thing and if we come back over here and refresh this now there will only be two widget columns and let's go ahead and drag some stuff into those two widget columns. First we need to refresh this so we can only see the two widget columns. So there's widget column one and column two. And in widget column one let's go ahead and add let's add categories. I don't know if I've got any categories or not. And in widget column two let's add pages. Pages. Okay, and we'll call this, we'll just give it name, we'll say categories and pages. We hit save and save. Come back over and view the page. Okay, so now those two widgets are showing up inside the middle of this content. We don't have any categories so it shows as uncategorized but we do have these pages and so now we've got a list of our pages and I mean hopefully you can tell that you can do virtually anything with this now right anything that requires a widget or that takes a widget can be placed in the middle of your content and it doesn't have to be in the middle of your content right it could also I mean we could just take this cut it out put it at the bottom of the content update it And now it is there down there at the bottom of your content.